By going through all of these course demos, you should have a really good understanding of just how powerful Photoshop is. But I'm gonna take it a step further and show you a way to manipulate poses using Puppet Warp. So I will go to File and Open. On my desktop, I'm gonna find my Chapter 9 folder and 9.6, Puppet Warp. Now you'll notice the name of this file, Puppet Warp Demo, do not turn in. Okay, what I have here is a simple backdrop and a picture of Santa. But I don't like the way his arm is coming out here. I wish he was more up here like he was waving to us, not presenting Coca-Cola. I want his arm up here. So the old fashioned way, the really hard way, is you would have to take your lasso, you would have to cut his arm off right here. And I could say layer menu, make a new layer via cutting off his arm. Then I would have to go to my move tool, hit command T or control T on a PC to transform. I would have to move this where I want his elbow to bend, and then I would have to go out and rotate it like that. Okay, the problem is when I hit enter or return to accept it, now I have to photo retouch a big chunk of his missing elbow. And I don't wanna have to do all that. Okay, so I'm gonna go to edit, undo, edit, undo the layer. And I'm right back where I started. Okay, Command D or Control D to deselect. The easier way now is to go on his layer and simply go to Edit Menu, Puppet Warp. Okay, when you first do that, it's going to look like you captured him in a dolphin net or a fishing net where dolphins get trapped. Okay, we don't want that. Save the dolphins. We don't want Santa getting trapped in a fishing net. Okay, so right up here it says show mesh. I'm gonna turn that off. What you have to think of Santa as is a paper cutout. Very similar, because I'm in puppet warp mode, very similar to those Halloween decorations of skeletons that you buy and they have the little pins where you can pose them along their elbows or their neck or their hips. It's basically a cutout paper doll. So I'm gonna come in and just click. I'm gonna add a pin. Okay, that's where I want him to bend. I also want him to bend up here at the wrist. I also want him to pin down his shoulders. I don't want his shoulders to move. That's like pinning him to the wall. I don't want his elbow to move or his hand to move or his beard. And I'm just going to say pin, pin, ouch, pin, 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 pin. I'm going to stick him to the wall. Now I'll add another pin right up there. Okay, when I'm ready to move, you can see how all these little pins have these gray centers but when I click on this one, now it has a blue center. That is the active pin. Now when I click and drag, it treats it more organically. Notice I'm not ripping his arm off. I could do something crazy and tear his arm like that, but then I'm gonna dislocate his shoulder, so you probably don't wanna do that. But I can wave his arm right there. Ho, 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 like a mannequin. So I'll put him right here. Now I can click on his forehead, maybe tilt his head back a little bit right there. And then I'll click on his nose and we'll pull that back a little bit. All right, he looks good. I changed his pose. All I have to do now is hit enter on a PC or return on a Mac and I have accepted the new post. So that's what Puppet Warp does. I'm not gonna save this. It's a demo, do not turn it in. So I'll click don't save. The ones I want you to work on is under file and open. 
in chapter nine again, folder 9.6, you have these two files at the bottom, number two and number three. I'll open up number two. And what we've got is a simple comic book cover for a Transformers issue, issue five. Okay, I've given you four different images for backgrounds. You could have that image of Cybertron or that darker image of Cybertron or that more grayed out image of Cybertron or this kind of land-based image of Cybertron. I kind of like the dark one. Okay, what do I do with that? I'm going to go to file and open again. And file number three is a bunch of transformers for you to choose from. So you can see here, I've got a bunch of them. Transformer one up to, I think I forgot to name these guys here. So transformer one or transformer two or transformer three, transformer four, five, six, and then I have Bumblebee, technically number seven, um, Shockwave number eight, and Starscream. So let's say we look at Optimus Prime. I'm going to take my move tool, drag him up, drop him in, and I'll put him right here, kind of the central figure. But now... If I turn off my background for a second, I don't want his arms sticking out here. I want his arms on his hips. So I could go to edit, puppet warp. I'm gonna pin him on his shoulders where he would bend. I'm gonna pin him on his elbows where he would bend. I'm gonna pin him on his wrists where he would bend. And then I'm gonna pin his head the rest of his torso, pin him down, pin, 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 pin. Just stick a bunch of pins in him. Now when I click on this active pin right here, I can drag it over, kind of bend his arm a little bit. Then I hold shift and I click a second pin. So now I can move two of them at the same time like that. Like Bumblebee, I have an itch. Or if I wanted this hand in front of his body, I can click right here on the pin, one pin, and go right up here to pin depth. I want to move it up. So now it's on top of his wheels. It's in front of his body. That's kind of cool. It almost recognizes depth, like he could stick his hand behind his arm, his body or stick his hand in front of his body. So when I click and drag right here, I'll bend his arm, shift click. So I bend, I'm basically going to move his entire forearm like that. And I'll just lift it up. So right there, he's got this more majestic kind of victorious pose. I'll click again on his hand and adjust the pin depth. So that comes in front, and I like that. He's looking mighty. He's the king of the Autobots. So I'm gonna hit enter or return, accept that transformation right there, and now I'll come back and we'll turn him off. See, so he's got his arms way out to the side, and now he's standing victorious. So let's see who else I can add to my cover. Let's see if we got this guy. Well, I'll put his arms on his waist too. Let's just do it right here. Edit, puppet warp, pin down the shoulders, pin down the elbows, pin down the wrists, and I'll pin down his hips. I'll pin down basically where his knees would be. I'll pin down his ankles. I'll pin down his head, and then I'll pin down the rest of the torso. So now I could take this pin, move it up. I'll take this pin, maybe move it out. Uh, let's see. Nah. Yeah, I want to move it out a little more. I'm going to shift click that pin and move them up a little higher. There we go. I can click on this pin and move it up. Shift click that pin 
and now move that whole part of the leg out a little bit. Move this one back in. There we go. Just kind of minor manipulations to the pose. I hit enter or return, and now I can move him up, drop him in, and let's just put him right there off to the side. And let's go get one more guy here. Uh, that one looks pretty good. I like those hands coming out. So let's see if we can do it again. Edit, puppet warp, pin down the shoulders and the head and the elbows and the hands. And let's see if I can do this without pinning down the rest of him. Ooh, I can, good. So let's move that up just a little bit and let's click shift click and move that out. See, it's now pulling the rest of his body and I don't want that to happen. So let's go to edit and undo. I'm going to pin down the rest of his body. I don't want the rest of that body to move. So now I can click shift click and move that arm out. There we go. Click one and move that back in or out or whatever you want to do. It's your Autobot. It's your pose. Do whatever you want with him. I'll hit enter or return. Move him up. Drop him in. Let's put a little gathering of the Autobots right there. Right in front of our background. All that detail and all those colors really start to blend together. So I'm going to go back here on Optimus Prime, double click to the right, and I'm going to give him an outer glow. Maybe I'll lower that so it's not so bright. And I'm going to click OK. I kind of like that look right there. It's a little bit of a definition around him. If I've added an effect to him, I'm going to hold my Option or Alt key to copy the effect and drag it up to this second transformer. Now I've got some definition around him. Option or Alt key and drag it up to the next one. So I can kind of tell them apart a little better. Okay, and that is my comic book cover. Now I want a little more depth. So I'm going to take my Transformers logo and drag it down. So Optimus's head will go over at a little more depth right there. Okay. If you decided at this point you don't like these outer glows, you just take the effect and drag it to the trash. Take the same effect, drag it to the trash, take the same effect, drag it to the trash because I want to try a black outer glow. Double click on the right, click on outer glow. But if you're going to do a dark color for your glow, you have to set the blending mode to multiply. Now I change the color of my glow to black. I want it to spread out from his body a little more and give it a little more of a definition right there. Cool. Click OK. Option or Alt key to copy the effect. Option or Alt key to copy the effect. So I can have a more solid look. Otherwise, they look like they're glowing like they're electronic. Um, and there's my comic book cover. So feel free to use any one of these. Change their poses. They have all got these arms that stick out from their body, which is going to make a great use for the puppet warp effect. Okay, let's see what you can come up with. So I don't need that one. I want my comic book cover here. File menu, save a copy. And I'll just call that last name, first name, puppet warp. I'll save that now that I'm done as a JPEG on my desktop and I'll save it always as a high quality JPEG. So there's our victorious Autobots 
for our Transformers. I don't know. That might be a Decepticon. What do I know? Um, and there you go. Have fun with the poses. Edit menu. Puppet warp. Look forward to seeing what you can come up with for this cover.